Magical music. Ah, I've been waiting a hundred years for this. Tomorrow morning, the sun will pass from Capricorn into the Piper. And then it'll be my time to shine. The important thing is not to oversleep, but they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> cares about these music lessons. What's the point of studying this? It's not magic. You're only grumbling because you didn't learn your part. What is there even to learn? Bam! Bam! Would you please be quiet? What are you worried about? Surely you know it all by heart. If I don't get enough sleep, I won't play well. Oh, did I oversleep? Stupid alarm crow, why didn't you wake me? Good, I'm still on time. Mr. Immortal doesn't even suspect that his treasured Trembita is missing. The heist of the century. <laughs> A little surprise for you. Hmm. The fifth Wintober of the Dragon Cycle. The sun is in the house of the Piper. Hmm. Has it been a hundred years already? <laughs> Where is it? I distinctly remember putting it in here. Right next to the Magical Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> Now, let's begin. <laughs> huh? Uh, that wasn't me. Wait a minute. Isn't that... wondering why we've all gathered here today. From now on, you lucky little things are going to be attending the Yaga School for Mischief. My school. Go get the others. Don't be afraid. They can't hurt you. What are you worried about? The Alpine Horn works like a charm. It enchanted every one of them. And here are our new textbooks. Trixometry, Spitefully, Evonomics, Intrigology. And this, Mischief Matics. We'll start out easy. Let's find something interesting. How to ruin things. <laughs> Mr. Immortal? <gasps> Mr. Immortal! <gasps> Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> That's exactly what I need. Encasing, enchaining. Oh, there it is. Enchanting music. So that's how Papa Yaka bewitched them. Huh? <gasps> Where is it? Where is the counter spell? <gasps> music that cures hiccups and tickling songs. That's not what I need. Knowing how to taunt and tease well is a true science. Here, watch me. Now it's your turn. Well, that was disappointing. You all get a D. By the way, where are the others? Once every hundred years, the horn's what's powers this? reach their summit, but whoever plays it can overcome it. Aha! What's going on? Why aren't you bewitched and frozen? I'll take care of that. <laughs> What 
way do you think you're doing? Us? The power of magical instruments. I assume that the music lesson has been a great success. Nice! What an enchanting melody. I just can't stop dancing. All right, then. Everyone gets an A. Oh, my alpine horn. Thank you for finding it. As soon as the sun sets, I'll play you a beautiful solo. I can't wait to demonstrate it. What? Music is truly powerful magic. But the drums were a bit late. We'll, we'll practice, practice some more. more and have the best concert. Princesses from far and wide have come together to uncover secrets filled with magic. You're a bad, we're delighted. Training day. Oh, there's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea after a long day at the chalkboard, wouldn't you say? Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, 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 dear. Oh. Much obliged, Mr. Immortal. A message has arrived for you. It looks important, too. Oh. Hmm. The President of the Wondermont Administration has summoned us to a teacher training seminar. And it's tomorrow. Really? Teacher training? But I've been an exemplary educator for years. And you've been teaching since, uh... Forever. Exactly. So why do we need to go to a teacher training seminar? Why, it's all perfectly normal. There's no need to worry. No matter how long you've been doing a job, there's always more to learn. Marlene, go and tell the girls that we'll be leaving. We shall be on our way in the morning, bright and early tomorrow. No lessons tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes. Does that mean it's okay for me to stay in bed all day? No, Dolma. It means we should spend the day outside where we can practice our magic. No, Rooney. You know the rules of the school. There's to be no magic while the teachers are away. Aww. Good night, girls. Good Sleep well. Good night, night. Marlene. Thanks. Terrible dream. It's all right. It was just in your mind. You're safe now. You see? <laughs> oh, please help me. I'm falling into a big hole in the ground. <laughs> Rooney, stop it. That wasn't funny. It felt so real. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorma, but just look around. It's a perfect day. Nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> oh, what's that? Girls, look. Check out the smoke over here. <gasps> it looks like my dream is coming true. We need to go and make sure everything's all right. <laughs> Have a nice trip, my naive little friends, while I finish my bottomless pit. <laughs> What's that, sir, on your hands? Just there. It looks like an ink smudge. It must have come off the scroll. How strange. Exactly. Wondermont ink shouldn't do that. May I see it? Could this ribbon be a strip of fabric torn from a piece of clothing? Hmm, Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. Goat, please take us all back home and fast. Girls, we've got to do something. I can stop her. No, no magic, remember? <gasps> How do we stop Baba Yaga without magic? I've got it. Baba Yaga! <laughs> 
That's enough! It's me, the Immortal! Stop what you're doing and run, or I'll make you disappear! <laughs> oh, your immortalness. I didn't expect you back so soon. <laughs> I know it's just you girls. And I know the school rules. No magic while the teachers are away. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Baba Yaga! That spell you're casting. <sighs> are you sure you're doing it the right way? But of course. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I fear you made a small mistake. Just uh, look. What? It says right here. Stop talking! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! So sorry, you little pest. Let me help you. Go. Yes! Nice Go. catch! What is going on? Not good. We must find Baba Yaga. This way! Oh! Now I've had enough! We need our magic. The school is about to collapse! <gasps> Daria, we can't use magic! We break the rules or lose our school. You're messing up the spell! Whoa! Oh, no! My book! Oh, oh. oh, Hot, let me cool it down for you. Looks like you froze me out! But I'll be back! Wow, so cool! Well done, girls, you saved the school. <gasps> my voice! It's finally back! I'm sorry. We broke the rules of the school. Yes, which is more important than the school rules sometimes. So you won't punish us? <gasps> no. You are all brave wizards and deserve a real day off to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> yes! Hooray! 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 Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me out of here? There! This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good! Cut! Rewind! Show it to me! Playback! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it! This looks better than I'd hoped. You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The magical task generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? Uh... It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. They'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yes! <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Right. girls. No need to argue. Princesses, this is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better, knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the magical task generator. And the assignment will go to... Rooney and Dari. It's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm. Just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. 
He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble Bottle Flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? <sighs> what a gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh, want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Bind us and wind us. <gasps> Well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars! Just you wait, brats! Hey, Falcon, Falcon, it's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> <laughs> How daring you've become! Daria, chop the spell, quick! <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no, it shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Yeah. I'm in charge now. Huh. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! And girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready. I'm going to give them a fright. Hey, stop crying. Beg me to set you free at once. <gasps> what? I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Uh... Ah, bind us on this. <laughs> bind us and bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! <laughs> bind us and wind us! <laughs> hey, Hut! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions, and your power! <laughs> we did it! We passed the level! Doria! Rudy! Right here. Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Baba Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They can be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Tired and tested. Tomorrow, I will be giving a lesson on the three-headed dragon. We'll study its head and the way it flies and breathes fire. <gasps> Three-headed dragon. Awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. The topic's complex, so tomorrow you need to be attentive as well as involved. After all, the director will be watching us. The director will watch us. Ah, the immortal, huh? Then I'll make sure he remembers it. <laughs> Up. Time 
class, get up, girls. Oh, wait a minute. Where is everyone? We have to hurry. The sooner we start, the more we'll learn about dragons. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Immortal. Good morning to you, girls. Hmm. What fine enthusiasm. <gasps> oh, girls. Uh, good lesson this morning. Uh, I mean, let's uh, begin now. You're going to do just fine. Don't worry. I've dreamed of seeing one of these my whole life. Uh, I'm afraid at stage one, Rooney, we only study how to fly dragons using miniature copies. What? When do we use real ones? Rooney, we're only at stage one. Please be patient. We use miniature copies to ensure that everyone remains safe. Mm, yes, safety. That's right. Let's start with just one dragon. The recipe's easy enough. Two drops of flame plant juice, along with moonlight dew, combine and mix well. But no more than one drop, or else you... <gasps> oh, no! No need to panic. Just a small recipe mistake. <laughs> That's right. Remain calm. Sweet and obedient creatures. Oh, these creatures are rather annoying. They're more like dragon flies. Yes, a regrettable error, but reversible. <sighs> oh no, Mr. Immortal. I'll do it. Tornado. Uh, everything's under control. Oh. oh no, good heavens. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, oh my, what is going on? <clears throat> Marley. These are impressive special effects. However, it hasn't been the most successful lesson. To be honest, it hasn't been successful at all. I can see that you tried, but it is difficult material. Hmm. Professor, I wonder, would you teach the lesson? Aren't these dragons your specialty, sir? May I please try one more time tomorrow, sir? You see, I... I didn't sleep last night. I had nightmares all night long. Please. No, he's not going to let her. But what if he does, and she has another hard night? And then what? If she doesn't sleep well again, things could get even worse. <sighs> oh dear, poor Marlene. Oh, she's restless. Looks like she's having nightmares again. I know. Let's help her sleep tonight. How? We can make her some good dreams so she can rest. Just a moment. Let me find the right frequency. Yes, I think I caught her dream. I knew it would work. Let's go. What's the hat for? It's a special dream mixing hat. Basically, it transmits dreams. Think of a good dream, and I'll go to sleep. Then I'll transmit the dream to Marlene. Okay, we're inside her dream now. <gasps> it looks dreadfully gloomy. Yes, no wonder she can't sleep. I'll make the first dream for her. Everything must be bright and colorful, with lots of pretty gowns and music to dance to. very happy anymore. I've got it. We'll add some sheep. Oh dear, it didn't work. Oh no, this is frightening. That's it. I'm going to enter a dream now. What is this? You're the one ruining our dreams. Uh -huh. Now I've got you. Little wrecker of dreams, fly far away and take your nightmares with you. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Good morning. You look wonderfully well rested. Oh, why, thank you, sir. I finally feel well rested. So now, the three-headed dragon lesson should go perfectly well. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Ah! Ah! Princesses from far and wide have come together To uncover secrets filled with magic You're invited with delight So, 
Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Please, Professor. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful! May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques? Do you Girls, suggest please for stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for magic home economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in the pseudo fairy tale style of the last hmm. hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. Strange. Why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you! <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby oh. they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! Oh. Professor! Oh. Where is the immortal? Oh. Good question. Where is he? 
Why isn't he here? Uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind... Let go of me! I got it! Uh -huh. uh, uh, uh. Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! Uh -huh. Ooh. I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell to take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! Princesses from far and wide have come together To uncover secrets filled with magic You are back, we're delighted Midnight Magic <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Doria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at E2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. 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 <gasps> <gasps> I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's a scary one. Ooh. <laughs> On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Doma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? 
We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. But why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Yoria, do something fast! I don't know how! in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question <sighs> remains, who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Storia. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cost it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you? Daylight Robbery. Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the Immortal. At least, compared to those. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney! You just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore while awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. <sighs> I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? Mm. Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Now come back! Get back here! Oh, this looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night. Dorma! Dorma! There you are. What time is it? Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime. I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out, like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. 
And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. What have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... Eternal Night. <gasps> Eternal? As in forever? Oh. How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. We have less than an hour. We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! The spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should you? Oh, I'm right here. Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The Immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell. Or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey, get off! <laughs> Good try, princess, but not good enough. We're free now. Oh, that means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? Uh, so hard to see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Oh, hooray! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh. Oh. Yuck. So sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our acts to do yours? She is entertaining, though. <laughs> Princesses from far and wide have come together to uncover secrets filled with magic. You're invited, we're delighted you'll be with us for the endless adventures. The Magical Repair Shop. Hey, listen, I don't get it. Why are you so sensitive? You stepped on my foot five years ago and I didn't say a thing. Not a word, not even a peep. I forgave you right away, remember? <coughs> Fire, water, earth, and air. And then I need... Aha! Mm -hmm. Easy as pie. And I learned how to paint. Water and fire... Can someone explain why we're doing this? They dragged in junk from the basement and it's all right, now fix it. Are we training to open a repair shop? I like it. Just a little more and we'll have a wonderful pot. Mm-hmm. 
Congrats on your wonderful pot. You're just angry because you can't fix anything yourself. Who, me? I just don't want to waste my time on this. And the professor said this was an optional assignment. Hup. So do it if you want, or don't. Either way, I'm out of here. Playing outside in the fresh air, that's what I recommend. You can join me if you want to. <laughs> Got it. Guess nobody else is coming. Well, fine. All right. Enough already. Uh, oh. Truce? I owe you an... an, uh... Oh, what if I kick and use a spell at the same time? Why didn't I think of this before? Now, if only I can remember the spell. Uh, fly high like an arrow. Something... Hmm, up to the sky, maybe? Oh, you're making this so difficult. Maybe your grace is sky. Okay, kapow! Wow-wee! <sighs> it's all because you took offense. You could be at home, your chimney would still be in place, and I was about to say, well, I almost said it, but don't rush me. I nearly apologized. Ah, what's the matter? We'll fix your chimney. <laughs> After all, I'm the strongest magic user of all. Oh. oh! That's not the spell. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh! <laughs> Looks like I set the wrong process in motion. How do I stop it? I've got to stop it now. My dear sweetheart, don't get any smaller. Wait just a moment. I'll be back. What happened to it? <laughs> you could almost send it to kindergarten. Did I do that? The ball hit the chimney and there must have been something important in there. Oh no, what did I do? My magic can be a bit, well, it's hard to explain. Uh, how do I put it? Um, Destructive, perhaps? Yes, and now I'm trying to be, you see, um, hmm, well... Constructive, it seems. Yes, that's it. I can't do it. Please help me. Help your old friend. When exactly were we ever friends? Well, 200 years ago. Don't you remember? I was a cute little blonde girl. Huh? Hmm. Please, Mr. Immortal, you must hurry. It's going to disappear. I won't play any dirty tricks, I promise. For a week. No, a month. A month! Two months. Hmm? <sighs> Rooney? What's the matter? I'm afraid that I really messed up and recited a spell wrong and... Well, I knocked the chimney off Baba Yaga's hut and then it started to shrink. You did? Mm -hmm. What does the chimney have to do with it? Maybe there was something important inside it. What do you mean? But girls... I feel sorry for it. It's going to be so tiny soon. What can we do? It's simple. We were just studying all kinds of repairs today. Of course, my book. Yes, here it is. Ah, look. Yes, yes, that's the spell. Can you help me, girls? Of course, let's go. <laughs> wow, it's tiny. Hello, don't be alarmed. Come on, girls. <laughs> Little to the left, right there. Be careful. All right, Rooney, begin now. Mm -hmm. Fire, water, earth, and air. Each has magic everywhere. Hooray! Well done, Rooney. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> Come on now, grow. <gasps> uh, uh, it's all my fault. Please forgive me. I'm the one who broke your chimney. We tried to fix it, but... Mm, actually, it, uh, it broke all by itself. What do you mean? You're making this difficult. Ah! Well, are you satisfied? Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah! That's what happened. Well done, girls. I was certain you were going to fix the chimney either way. Well, yes, and we just had extra practice today on, well, on how we can repair anything, but... Yes, right, exactly what I mean. Yes, but it didn't help. The hut is still small. That is for a completely different reason. <laughs> oh, you did 
did it. Thank you. Time to go. Hut, let's head home. Don't forget your promise. I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh! Mm, incorrigible. Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream. They're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls, I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers! Hooray! <gasps> okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now! Come back to life! Now move! What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help! <laughs> Hi, Marlene! Daria, why are you running? To find help! Oh, Marlene, thank goodness you're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor? Don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Oh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Oh, Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls. And she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Stop her, Professor! No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! Daria, are you all right? 
I don't understand what's gotten into the professor. Presenting oh. to be oh. one of our best teachers, oh. Professor Alcott offers his head. What are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues, turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Who? Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right. But let's keep it our little secret. Princesses from far and wide have come together. Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed. These are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place. No doubt about it. Ah? Uh -huh. Hmm. We've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal. But the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card. But I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at this spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine, what if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm, does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm, what knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh, my brothers never gave flowers. I know, knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. Oh, goodness. Look over there. It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up the knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry! It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh! Do you hear that clanking? That's him! Uh, why is the witch's 
part here. Oh, no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes, it was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a... Happy, happy birthday. birthday! What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leech soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us, eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs>